Hello, Brunswick High School. Thanks for watching DHS TV. Today is Friday, September 16th. I'm Nick McGrady. And I'm Mason Schaefer, and here's what's going on at BHS. Next week is homecoming at BHS with different dress-up themes each day. All students and staff are encouraged to participate in the theme days, which are Disney on Monday, Holiday on Tuesday, PJs on Wednesday, Flashback to the 80s on Thursday, and Purple Out on Friday. Next week during homecoming, BHS TV wants everyone to send out their dress day pictures using the hashtag BBergHC16. You can send your pictures out on Twitter or Instagram. We will pick some of our favorites to show next week right here on BHS TV. You can also see everyone's pictures around school on the monitors in the hallways. Don't forget, next week use hashtag BBergHC16. And all students are invited to help build their grade levels homecoming float next Monday through Thursday from 5 to 8 p.m. in the maintenance facility. Snacks will be provided. Hope to see you there. Last weekend, Interact Club members Kate Slavin, Liliana Hyatt, and Taylor Sion spotted the B&O Rotary Bell. This bell is funded and sponsored by the Brownsburg and Avon Rotary and Interact Clubs and was introduced on Friday's football game. Brownsburg and Avon are now tied with four points each. Don't forget, Interact Club meets every Wednesday at 7.15 a.m. Bulldogs for Life will be meeting next Monday, September 19th at 7.10 a.m. in K-122. Feel free to bring a friend and be ready to discuss their topic for the week. Teens for Christ will be meeting Monday after school from 3 to 4 in the orchestra room, F-104. Join them as they worship together, eat some snacks, and continue their Bible study of the book of Genesis. All are welcome. Earlier this week, members of Ms. Crone's dual credit U.S. history class created some raps about the U.S. amendments. Let's take a quick look and see what they came up with. Now, here is a rhyme from back in the day. It is about a law that the Founding Fathers and Patriots made. I'm going to shoot it straight and throw no shade because this is why Amendment Number 8 came our way. The 15th, 15th Amendment says anyone can vote for the president regardless where you've been, slavery you were in. Subtract the color of your skin as long as you were men. Hold up, wait, pause. I, I thought I missed a clause. This one's only for the guys, girls, sorry for this prize. Y'all don't get the vote. Stay off the vote. Nice job to those students. Now, Drew Baum has a story about the sound in Brownsburg. Sound of Brownsburg has been working non-stop in 2016, perfecting their full competitive show entitled Reign of Darkness. And with hours upon hours spent practicing each week, the show has really taken upon a new meaning to the students. Work on the show also stretches off the field with countless hours spent in the classroom and with the addition of Mr. Catholic who has made many amazing and needed changes to the band. The train has really sped ahead musically and fundamentally. Mr. Catholic joins us with an amazing music background. He has his foot firmly in the door of the sport. In only a few short months that he has been with BHS, we are seeing in the works possibly one of the best, if not the best year for the Sound of Brownsburg. The Sound of Brownsburg competed at the Fisher's Invitational this last Saturday and came away with second place, falling just a mere five points behind the reigning state champions. They will be hosting 28 bands at the Sound of Brownsburg Invitational tomorrow, September 17th. The competition starts at 2 p.m. and the Sound of Brownsburg will be performing at 9.30 p.m. with the awards to follow. Please come out and support the Sound of Brownsburg. Thanks, Drew. Now it's time for sports. What's up, Zach? What do you got for us today? Thanks, guys. BHS continued its week of HCC conference matchups, taking on Fisher's Tigers the last few days. Last night, it was the varsity volleyball team hosting Fisher's. In an extremely close match that saw ties and lead changes happening throughout the night, the Tigers were able to edge out the dogs in the fifth set to take a 3-2 victory. Avery Brown led the dogs with 18 kills, followed by Michaela Hoffa and with 17, and Mackenzie Harless with 14. Riley Kirkley led the defense with 29 digs, and Maddie Jones added 14. The ladies will look to get back in the win column tomorrow in the Hendricks County Tournament at Avon. On Wednesday night, the girls' soccer team traveled to Fishers to take on the 11th-ranked Tigers. After going in at the half tied at zero, the ladies came out in the second half and took an early leave. Fishers was able to answer, and the game eventually ended in a 2-2 two -two tie. Lizzie Daniels and Grace Ulmer both had goals for the dogs. The ladies will take on Noblesville at home tomorrow. Good luck. The boys' soccer team was at Ben Davis last night. Despite a hard work ethic, the dogs came up short. The JV team also fought hard but ended up losing 1-0. The guys will take on Westfield next Tuesday. The girls' varsity golf team finished their regular season on Thursday night against North Central. 
The ladies shot a 154 to easily defeat the Panthers. Hannah Thomas was medalist in the match, shooting an impressive 36. Morgan Keir and Abby Cody each carded 38s. The girls will compete in sectionals at West Chase tomorrow. Good luck. And the boys' tennis team took on Zionsville on Thursday night. The varsity team lost 3-2 to the Eagles. Greg Foling earned a point at number one singles. And the team of Gunnar Riffitt and Adam Pritchard earned a doubles point. The JV team lost 5-4 in the all-doubles format. The teams of Kate Allison and Jake Petronik, Christian Jimenez and Garrett Moore, and Kayla Bates and Darshan Patel all had wins. The varsity team will compete in the conference tournament tomorrow morning. Good luck, guys. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Zach. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Don't forget that Monday is Disney Day. Be sure to use the hashtag BBergHC16 on all of your pictures. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.